Welcome back, Oaks fans, to another episode of Oki Vision, our first season preview of the 2021-22 school year. My name is Ryan Barnett, Sports Information Director here at Menlo College, and my guest this week is none other than Menlo College men's soccer head coach, Keith Lambert. Thanks for joining me, Coach. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yes, well, we're excited to have you here. Let's jump right in to uh, the upcoming season. It's been a while since we've seen your guys in competition, but the last time we did, uh, you guys were capturing a GSAC tournament title. Uh, taking down OUAZ and penalty kicks. We just got the schedule released for the 2021 season. Any key matchups that you have circled here to start the year? Yeah, really excited to be back out on the field with the guys and, you know, thinking about the games. Um, a lot of emotion coming through for that. Um, it seems like 2019 season was a lifetime ago. But, um, you know, I think when we look at the schedule, Everything in the GSAC is going to be important and going to be tough. Um, really, we turn our attention to like the preseason or non-conference games. We've got two key matchups, one with UC Merced um, out of the CalPAC and then uh, Southern Oregon out of the Cascade. Both those teams are usually finishing top of the table or close to top of the table um, in their respective conferences. So I think those will be two important matches um, to get a barometer of how we rate on the West Coast and then also represent the GSAC well in some non-conference games. Now, you're returning some key pieces from that 2019 uh, championship season. Any guys you'd like to highlight we should circle for the start of the year? Yeah, I think um, a couple of guys, we were pretty senior heavy in that season, but we were we able to retain a few more, a few of our guys. Um, one of them being two of our captains, or will be captains this year, um, Carl Helmerts, or as we call him, Cali. Um, he's an international from Sweden, plays a really significant role for us on the field, in the locker room, um, and just a great guy to have on the, on the team. And then Evan Snodgrass, a local talent, um, been with the program for four years, uh, has taken a senior exception to come back and play. Excited about him. He'll also be one of our captains. Um, and then Brett Fitzpatrick also took out a senior exception and played a, a starting role in all of our games in 2019. Also a local talent. And then a handful of guys that I think played a, a role coming off the bench in 2019 that will probably take up a starting spot. Um, and then some younger guys who found their feet early in their playing career that will, that'll, I think, continue to play a role, such as like a Caden Mink, stuff like that. Excellent. So definitely names we've become accustomed to calling. Now, how about some of the new guys? We've got basically two full recruiting classes coming in as the guys uh, you brought in for the 2020 season didn't get a chance to hit the pitch yet. Uh, what are we looking at as our uh, new talent coming in here at Menlo College? Yeah, I mean, when you look at our roster, you're going to see a lot of new faces. I actually did the numbers the other day. We've got 20 guys on the roster who have never played a proper wow. game for Menlo College. So... Um, and that's going to be a mix of internationals, junior college transfers, and domestic freshmen coming in. So we're really excited. Um, all over the field, we've got some new guys coming in um, that'll play a big key role for us. Uh, Dennis Vanim, um, Levin Leader Gerber um, played a big role for us in the springtime, um, both on and off the field. And then, you know, another international, Mattia Chalant, played a big role. Um, Bernardo uh, Silva, who was a transfer from West Valley. So I think that we've got a bunch of guys between the 2020 class uh, and the 2021 class that are going to represent Menlo well on and off the field um, and represent the, the men's soccer program well and, and do, do good things for us. Excellent. Well, we're excited to see everyone back on the pitch. Oaks fans, uh, the Oaks return to action here at Wonderlick Field on August 31st as they will take on Sierra Nevada University in their first home, conference, uh, home contest in just over a couple of years. Coach, thank you for your time. Thanks for joining us here on Oakey Vision. Thanks so much, Go Oaks.